look at all of those PS2s. Jake Hunter here, your man in Japan, and I'm out doing some last minute Christmas shopping. So I'm in the big city and I thought I'd stop by a hard off. I thought I'd do some junk diving. I've already been here before. We are in, here in the Oita City location of hard off. And I never got a chance to show off the rather impressive junk section. Thought we'd do a bit of deep diving today. See here, we got game cubes. How much is it for a game cube? There's also a GameCube with the uh, the Game Boy adapter. How much is this running for? It's running for five bucks for the whole thing. Probably works. Just doesn't have any cords. Doesn't have the DVD that you'd need to run Game Boy games on it, but that's okay. You can usually get that for 10, 20 bucks. Look at all these games. These games should work perfectly fine. I can't imagine there'd be a problem with any of these. Just maybe need to clean out the gunk a little bit. Any any good ones? Uh, we've got Donkey Kong Country here. A bit controversial, but $3. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, what do we got here? We got Yoshi's Island. $3. And then, oh, what do we have here? Oh, it's Ogre Battle 64. This is a really rare and expensive game. It was the American version. But the Japanese version? It's $3. $3 for the cartridge. What else do we got? We got Super Mar we got Mario RPG or no Paper Mario I'm sorry Paper Mario three dollars Mario Party two three dollars <laughs> anything else eh, just some a lot of these games are put back here just because they're overstocked like the the store takes in too many of them they don't want to put them on display so instead they get kind of banished back here but. Oh, there's still so many very, very playable games you can get for real cheap. We got Donkey Kong Country 3, $3. How much does one of these PS2 cost? It looks fine. It's just a lot of these, you know, people, people would buy PlayStations, you know, 20 years ago. Oh my god, it is almost 20 years ago when the PS2 came out. They'd buy them, you know, just normal people, and they're just, just buying them to play them. That one's, I think, five dollars. They, you know, lose the cords, but you can find find the cords right there if you uh, want to pick up a system. They just trade them in without the cords, and I think without the cords, very often, what Hard Off will do is they'll test it, make sure it kind of works, or even if even if they don't test it, they'll just make sure that it's okay. It doesn't have any, you know, cockroaches in it, and they'll throw it in the junk section for real cheap. We get all the Wii's, oh, ranging from about what ten to twenty dollars for various reasons. This one, this one's fine. This one works fine. It's just been, you know, erased to its um, to factory settings. This one, all this one's fine too. It's ten bucks. I don't know why ten bucks, twenty bucks. I don't know why you'd buy this one over this one. I can't even tell. And there's an orange GameCube right there. Orange is the color variant that you only find in Japan. Pokemon Golden Stadium, Gold and Silver, three dollars. Like there is just so, like there are so many Wii's here that if you look in the back you can see just a little bit that there's even more Wii's back there. We've got some OG Playstations, how much is this? Five bucks, it's a bit dirty, require a little bit of cleaning. Here, let me show you what's up over there. We got some Donkey Kong, Donkey Kongas, more GameCubes. Oh my god, how many freaking GameCubes are there here? There's got to be at least 10 GameCubes here. I wouldn't be shocked. We got a X Xbox back there, a Xbox 360. I think that's going for five bucks. Whoa, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. This is something you don't see every day. I didn't even notice this when I was going through before, but this is a Japanese cassette vision. Holy crap. Suchi box. Oh, okay. Well, it's taking power. It's a cassette vision junior. Interesting. I've heard of the Cassette Vision, but I've never heard of the Cassette Vision Junior. I wonder if that's a Japan only thing. Man, I kind of want to get this now, but I don't know anything about it. It just doesn't have the switch box though, so I don't even know. I don't even, I guess is that like the, is that the power unit for this? I don't even know, but 50 bucks for it. Usually this old stuff, a lot of old stuff like Atari stuff you, you can find here, but it'll be super expensive. So if you can find something like that for 50 bucks, I wonder if that's a steal. I'm gonna have to go look that up. I might need to come back here. 
man, more PS1s. Usually the most common systems will be the PS1, games, PS, PS1, PS2, and Wii. Just gonna wait for that guy to say his piece. Um, more consoles. Let's, there's all your, uh, what are these? Oh, these are the uh, PC games. These are gonna, oh boy, no, I don't think you can show that on YouTube. Oh, never mind. <laughs> More junk, more um, let's see, Xbox 360 controller, twenty dollars probably still works. Doesn't have the battery case though. And all these Wii stands, oh my god, these are just gonna be littering Japanese game stores. I feel for like the next decade. It's just gonna be all of these Wii stands that nobody wants, and the Wii wheels from Mario Kart because they sold eight million copies of Mario Kart. But you also find some uh, beat up Super Famicom controllers. More, just lots of EV bricks, power bricks, EV cords, and something interesting that's happened. And I can't, I do, I do mention this every once in a while, but PS3 has now become so old that it has now been turned into junk. So what we got here? We got Dark Souls 2. What was this the original Dark Souls 2? You can only ever find the. Uh, oh no, wait, Dark Souls 2 special map and original soundtrack. So I guess this is this was part of a collector's edition. What else have we got? Then just, yeah, lots of these games, they just sold a lot of copies. Nobody kept the games around. So they're selling them. Like, here, Winning Eleven 2009. Nobody gives a crap about that game anymore. Anything good? Dragon's Dogma. Maybe that was good. I've never played it. I've heard it was good. Front Mission Evolved. Front Mission was a pretty good game back on the SNES. I don't know about the PS3 version anymore. And then, oh my god, please tell me. Please tell me this only has Wii Fits. Please, please, please. Oh, it's a lot of it's Wii, Wii Fit Plus. And then lots of Wii Fits. Oh my god, how much is Wii Fit gonna set us back? If it's more than... Alright, here we go. If it's more than $3, I will be very surprised. Three, three dollars, um, exactly. Three, 300 yen, but with tax 324. Oh my god, I can't believe it's even that. I would expect like a buck. And then if you want a copy, uh, Poseidon for for your PSP. That's gonna be four dollars. Well, Black Ops Two for the Wii U. What? Three dollars? Oh wait. Oh, this is um. This is a foreign copy. This is a PAL copy. Holy shit. Wow. It's like saying it's like, hey, it's not gonna work on your Japanese Wii U, buddy. But um, I guess come to Japan if you want. Want to save some money on Black Ops Two. A couple of OG Xbox games. You don't see that super often. That Nobunaga's Ambition. And something mind-blowing for you Saturn fans here is... Uh, whoa, uh oh See, there's just so many games. So many games. It's hard to keep track of them all. This stuff just starts falling off the shelves. You see, I hear Christmas nights in America is really expensive, but here it's literally just considered junk. Here's Christmas Nights. No manual for a dollar. I think you can usually find the one with the manual for a couple extra bucks. Here we go. Oh, and it's a dollar. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. See, I got one, one, two complete copies of Christmas Nights. Pretty sure that's pretty collectible in America, but not so much here. What else do we have? Um, Virtual Fighter, that's fine. Virtual Fighter's a fine game. Remix, buck each, I think. What are we looking at? Sword and Sorcery. Sentimental Graffiti. This is apparently a very nostalgic game for some people in Japan. I've never actually played it. I think it's one of those uh, text adventure games. Well, not text adventure, but you know, it's like one of those anime games where you're just kind of reading a lot of text. Moving along. Shining Force 3, no manual for a dollar. Anything else crazy? What is this? Oh, this is a PS1 game. I don't know what this is doing here. Hey, let's send you home. We'll send you up to the PlayStation software. Gameware number three. I don't even know. A lot of these I don't... I'm not super familiar with the uh, with the Saturn library. I know the big ones. Like, here we got Sakura Tyson. That's a pretty big game. Yeah, so you see, you can find some deals. Oh, is this another? Oh, here's a whole other bin of Saturn junk. Grandia. It's 
supposed to be a good RPG. Oh, here's Nights into Dreams. How much is the original Nights into Dream gonna cost you? One dollar. One freaking dollar. Anything else good? Holy shit, Dragon. They put Dragon Force in this? You can get Dragon Force, just the disc, for a dollar. Wow. I think I bought the disc and the manual for, I think, ten bucks somewhere else, if that. That's just how good Japan is for some of this stuff. Yeah, but no, no heavy hitters in the junk, which is no surprise, because a lot of Saturn games in Japan have shot up in price, but there's still a lot of junk, more junk, holy crap. Even more, but more of the same. Lots of sentimental graffiti. Oh, here's a Shin Megami Tensei game. Devil Summoner. One dollar for Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner. Here we've got Vampire Hunter, Darkstalker's Revenge for the PlayStation. No manual, but it's a dollar. Another copy of Dragon Force with the manual? Holy shit. One dollar for a Japanese copy of Dragon Force. And I bet you anything this still works. A lot of these games, they just throw it back here. They uh, Junk stuff, the thing about junk stuff is that you're taking a risk. You're taking the risk that it doesn't work. But nine times out of ten, they'll tell you if it doesn't work. That's why they label all of those systems. And I've got a lot of PlayStation games, like PlayStation's been damned to the junk for a while, and I'm also not super familiar with the PlayStation library, so. we got Parasite Eve, how much is Parasite Eve? I don't even think, there aren't really any American PlayStation games that are worth much anyways, but this one's a buck. we got Breath of Fire 3, I think that's worth something in America, but here you can get it, Breath of Fire 3, $1. One whole, well, I guess 108 yen, one whole, it's about a, it's actually less than a dollar now. It's like a 97 cents. Dragon Quest 7. I know this is worth money in America, but in Japan it is one dollar. Ooh, and then that brings us to I think the find the find of the store, which is this. Oh, I gotta, gotta hold my hand properly on the on the phone. The find of the day, the find of the, the find of the store is this Neo Geo CD. Now, Neo Geo CD has gone up in price recently, where I think things in the box, I think in Tokyo, are running like $200 sometimes. But here we've got a loose system, but it's got all the cables, and it has two, two controllers. Now, that's a big deal, because I've noticed recently that Neo Geo CD controllers, these here, they actually work with the original Neo Geo as well. These controllers can often go for anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks. So even if this console doesn't work, and it says it does, but sometimes the software just... Hold on. I think it makes some weird sounds. <laughs> Apparently the disc makes some weird sounds. So I don't know if something's up with the motor or if it's off balance or something, but just buying this for the control, these two controllers alone, and even the, uh, the cords, that would actually make it worth it. And if I had an excess of money, I would probably buy it. However, tragically, I do not. And if you wanted a Sega Saturn, here you could get this complete inbox. You could buy this for $20. Not that great considering I've seen junk Saturns in the box for 20 bucks. And also, I don't think the, um, something's up with the tray. I don't think the tray locks. I think that's its problem. And here we've got more PS2s, and we got nice, I love the translucent PS2s. Got the nice blue to it, you can see inside. I wish, I wish it was completely clear, but I think it's five bucks. Five bucks for that, I think five bucks for this one as well. Whoop, uh-oh, it's okay, no problem. <laughs> and we move on, PS3's in the junk. And I wish, I've got to investigate to see which PS3s are able to run PS2 games. But I want, I've always wanted to pick up one of those. And a lot of these, you can see here, they don't have their hard drive anymore. They, yeah, HDD Nash. And you can see even, I think they got a few more up top. You can see better than I can. I'm not that tall. I can't see past all those. You can see even PS2 games. Oh my God. There's just so many, like when you've got a thousand games in your library, you just got to expect that some of them are going to end up in the junk. Oh, let's see, is there anything good? I don't know of any expensive PS2 games. 
Although in Japan, a lot of the shooters are become, starting to become expensive. Look at some of the covers, I guess. <laughs> That's the best I can offer you. A lot of these games, I have no idea what they are. A Final Fantasy X-2 for $3. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, if you want a complete Japanese Final Fantasy collection, it's going to be super cheap. And then all of these PS2 games. Oh my lord, look at these PS2, PSP games. For Monster Hunter G, $3. I mean, is there any one of these that's more than $3? Oh, we get that. It's too animu for my taste. But it's $3 if you want to find your waifu. Monster Hunter 3rd portable, $1. Holy crap. So I saw actually some more games over here. More games and stuff over here. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Oh yeah, GameCube stuff started to show up in, in, the, uh, in the junk section. Here we got Donkey Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I don't even know what that is. None of, these are super, none of these are super good games. And actually, now's the time if you want to collect GameCube games, because they're only going to start going up in price now. They're at the cheapest they're ever going to be. So Naruto. Soul Calibur 2. No cover though. I'm not going to talk about these God, these jokers. Is there anything good in here? No, a lot of... This, I never understood the Pokemon channel. I see that a lot. I think it's like an internet thing. I think, or maybe maybe it's just a collection of mini games. That's also entirely possible, but I think they got a, more than a few copies in here. Ooh, Donkey Kong 2. $3. Pair that up with the Junk Congas you can get for $3, and you got quite the game. And we got, and then I think this is, it seems like the junk, the junk area has expanded beyond the control of the, of the people working the shop. So they're just like, just throw everything. Like, look at this. We got Game Boy Advance games. We got a Harry, Harry Potter Quidditch for $3. You've got a VHS tape. The old, uh, what is this? The, the Legends of Japan. The old stories of Japan. That can be your for 50 cents. Even. And look at this, even just scattered. You've got Super Famicom games. Oh, wow. This is Final Fantasy for the Wonderswan. Wonderswan Color. Three bucks? That's actually pretty good. If I do say so myself. We got, uh... Dungeon Crawlers. Think oh, it's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh games. Yep, there we go. Yu-Gi-Oh for the Game Boy Color. A lot of Konami games you can get on the cheap. Of course, not the ones that you want. You can get you can't get Contra for cheap. Not anymore. Anything good? Oh, it's just a D2. That was a game for the Dreamcast. I actually have not played D2 yet. It's on there though. Although, ooh, you can find the original Soul Calibur, three dollars. It looks like it looks like three dollars is your um, your go-to price for stuff in the junk section. Oh, and then here's the ever great Space Channel Five sample. What does that mean? A sample of? <laughs> no, it's got to be the whole game. I don't see any distinguishing features. I think someone was just joking around with this sticker. Unless it could be a very rare copy of Space Channel 5 here in the junk section. But, um, <laughs> I've already got a copy, so I don't think I'm going to take that risk. Whoa, and it goes even further back. Wow, it's a really... What we got? I don't even know what that is. I think it's a pachinko game. Yeah, two pachinko games for the Famicom, $3 each. Oh, interesting. Looks like we got, a, we got us a couple of, um... Mega Drive games. You hear, although, uh, what's in? Just a World Cup soccer. Meh. Meh, not super exciting. You also got us a um, Neo Geo CD game. Samurai Spirits for $3. Code, oh, Final Fantasy 2 for the Wonder Swan. $3 as well. If I wanted to start a Wonder Swan collection, I would do it here. We've also got Code Veronica, the original Code Veronica, for 
Wow. Mm. Let's see, we already did Samurai Spirits. I don't want to double up. Another copy of Vampire Hunter. Soccer Wars 3. We got a... Ooh, an Atlas game for three bucks. I just don't know what it is. So, hold on. I'm trying to look at the logo, but I can't tell what... I don't know what its English name is. But Akujo Zensho? I don't know. Maybe that's... Oh! PlayStation... Oh, Crash Bandicoot 2. Three dollars. Crash Bandicoot, I think, was sort of popular in Japan. Not super popular. But popular enough. And then we got some com complete... Um, a lot of sports games complete for the Super Famicom. Uh, trying to put... Oh! Oh! There's a nice little top-off for this box. Let me... Oh, God, no. Okay, well, there's Ogre Battle 64 on the box. I can't... I need two hands for this kind of stuff. But we've hit 20 minutes, so that means my phone's about to cut out soon. But that is just a limited selection of what you can find in the junk here in Oita City. But at any hard off, you'll find lots of lots of stuff in the junk section. I highly recommend checking it out if you ever come to Japan. But look look for look forward to more videos. I'm gonna sign off here. Check out my streams, uh, 7 p.m. Monday. Japan Standard Time, I think that's like 3 in the morning for a lot of people, but it's the only time I have that I can stream for sure. But check those out, and check out more videos of hunting for video games in Japan. I've been Jay Contra saying thanks for watching, and mahalo!